Hi guys, um, Terry here again. Um, I'm going to work question four on the January 2022 paper now, right? Um, so for those of you who have not subscribed as yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit like, right? So let's get to question four. Where are you? All right, so question four, they give us some functions, right? Let me just write what these functions are, right? So the first one we have is f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. The next one is g of x is equal to 3x plus 2. And h of x is equal to 5 to the power x, right? So those are my functions. And this first one here, they want us to work out f of a half. <clears throat> so f of a half, essentially what we need to do, we need to substitute a half into this function here. So that's going to be 2 multiplied by a half minus 1. 2 by a half is 1 minus 1, and that's going to give me 0. So f of a half is 0, right? So this is part 1. Next part, we need to work out h of 0. So h of 0, right? Basically, we're going to take 0 and we're going to plug it into this function here. So this is going to be 5 to the power 0. But anything raised to the power 0 is 1. So therefore, the answer for part 2 is 1. This next one here, we want to work out g squared of 3. Now, this here, some students they will work out g of minus 3 and just square their answer. That's not how you do a question like this, right? g squared of minus 3 is actually g g of minus 3. That's what that is, right? So you have to be careful with that. So g of x is actually 3x plus 2. So g of x is 3x plus 2. So g of minus 3, that's what I'm going to work out first. You need to work out g of minus 3 first. And when you get that answer, you're going to plug it back into g. So g of minus 3 is going to be 3 multiplied by minus 3 plus 2. So 3 by minus 3 is going to give you minus 9 plus 2. And that's going to give me minus 7, right? So that's g of minus 3. Next thing we're going to do now, we're going to take that answer we just got and plug that into g. So you're gonna take minus seven and you're gonna plug it back into what g is. So it's gonna be three by minus seven plus two. So this is minus um, 21 plus two. And what that is gonna give me, minus 19 plus 19 Right, so that is one second. What's going on my screen here? Minus one minus. All right, so this here is minus nineteen, right? Um, so that's g squared of minus three. This next one here now we want to find g f of x right so basically in order to do that so let me just write down what g was and what f was so they told us that f of x was 2x minus 1 right g of x is 3x plus 2 Right now, you want to find g f of x. That's a composite function. So basically, what we need to do, we need to take f of x, and you're going to plug that into g. Right now, f of x is actually this: two x minus one. So I need to take that, and I need to put that into g as the value of x. So this is going to be three open brackets: two x minus one plus two. And then we just simplify this. So 3 by 2 will give me 6x. 
then 3 by minus 1 is going to give you minus 3 and then we have plus 2 here so this is going to be 6x minus 3 plus 2 is going to give you minus 1 so that's my composite function here right the next thing they want us to find is to find the inverse function they want us to find g of minus 1 right you want the inverse function so let's go back and see what g was g is 3x plus 2 so g of x is equal to 3x plus 2 so the first thing we're going to do so let's go through the steps that we normally do to find the inverse of a function so the first step is to let y equal to 3x plus 2 that's step 1 the next thing we're going to do is to interchange x and y right so therefore we're going to write this as x is equal to 3y plus 2 now the next step is to make y the subject of the formula now that's easy to do here because we can write this as 3y plus 2 is equal to x and therefore 3y is equal to x minus 2 and therefore y is equal to x minus 2 over 3 so therefore my inverse function g is going to be x minus 2 all over 3 so that's my inverse function here for g the next part they said hence or otherwise determine so they want us to work out this what value of x gives me 4 here right but you all just worked out the inverse and we got x minus 2 over 3 right so therefore all we need to do is to say x minus 2 over 3 is equal to um, 4 now that 4 could be written as 4 over 1 right and I could simply cross multiply here so this is x minus 2 is equal to 4 by 3 which is 12 so therefore x is equal to 12 plus 2 and therefore x is equal to 14 right so that's my value of x here right so like I said if you haven't subscribed as yet please hit subscribe and hit like right